Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. Today, Gary Grigsby's War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. This is episode 98, I believe. Holy mackerel. It's uh, January 1st, 1942. Uh, we will be resolving this turn, but before we do, I wanted to just take a peek around. Now, we've kind of already looked at Palembang. We've talked about marching things down to Palembang and, you know, kind of the thought process in and around all that. I did want to go look at our planes again up here by Singapore. We do have uh, four serviceable buffaloes there. We've got five. That makes nine. Eighteen. Whoa. We've got 27. Uh, we've got 38. A lot of buffaloes. Uh, and 53. Okay. So we've got 53 buffaloes up and running cap. Now these are at 60%. I'm actually going to dial that back slightly uh, because here come the Japanese. Now I, we probably, I probably should have had these at 50 before so they didn't get a, their fatigue levels at 15. That's not terrible. Uh, but I would really rather it be down around 10 at this point. Uh, this one looks okay, but we'll crank those back to 50. Um, current altitude, we've got that at 17,000 feet. We got them kind of running at layers. I'm actually going to change that. Uh, let's put them at 15. Okay, we got their maximum range. We don't need them to go out very well. Let's actually exit out of here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five gets them to here. Six gets them to here, as you can see. Um, eh, that's not right. This is their normal range. This would be their extended range. And then you can see the black line where they're flying out to. I guess this pretty much covers all we need to cover. I mean, these guys, we want to cover them. But, you know, if they can make it back here to Temela... They will be covered over the top. So I think really we can dial these back to five. Uh, fewer chances of operational loss. Now we have him at 12,000. That's fine. So we know that these can run up to 15,000 feet kind of with their best, you know, maneuverability. I, I don't want them to really go above that. I mean, of course, I would love them up 20,000 feet. It's going to give them an advantage. But, you know, ultimately, um, you know, well, shh. I say that now that now it's happened to me again. Whenever I say something like that, then I'm like, well, I don't know. Maybe we should let's have one group of them run up at 20,000. Uh, but 15,000, if we look at that aircraft data that, you know, they they're still on their top maneuverability up to 15,000 feet. They get up above that and it starts dialing back, you know, fairly quickly. Uh, so let's crank all these back to five and at 15,000 feet. We'll run them up there. Uh, the Japanese are going to start bombing Singapore sooner rather than later. Now we've got all of these forces trying to get back to Singapore. We've got a lot of stuff in Singapore. Uh, no ships, luckily. <laughs> we've, they've either been blown up or we got them the hell out of here. Um, okay, now there was this one patrol craft. Well, it's three patrol craft actually. actually main in maintenance or damage nothing we can do about that um we've got this unit here that we were trying to pick up and get the heck out of here but we don't have anything to take you know to take them uh let's do look at the air situation above palembang we've got four of these 75 a7 hawks got to be honest i don't know a whole lot about the hawk but gosh Darn it, does that thing have some maneuverability up to 15,000 feet? Well, I mean, hell, it's got maneuverability up to 31,000 feet, really. Uh, interesting. Uh, let's take this up to at least 15. We really could take it up to 20 or 25. Uh, I'm going to put it on 20. Uh, there's only four of these bad boys, unfortunately. Four is its normal radius. Let's dial that back. We're just worried about the cap over Palembang. I don't really care if they get out very far. We just want them over the top here at Palembang. Then we have these uh, 139 WH3s. They're just doing basic naval search. Question whether we really need them at Palembang. They're eventually going to get lost uh, here if we don't move them, we can get them off training. It's too late for that, boys. They do have an extra or an experience of 52, so okay. And we're going to click them back to eight to their normal kind of radius there. Um, 
or range. Okay, uh, that looks fine. And then we've got two of these 339Ds, kind of the bread and butter of the Dutch Air Force. They're good up to 15,000. So, okay, we've already got them there. Seven, again, we just care about them flying cap over the top of Palombang. I don't need them going out very far. Uh, pretty good experience here. Uh, not so good with the morale. We've only got two of those uh, operational at this moment. If we go down to Oosthaven, um, we've got one fighter group here. Okay. As long as they're Dutch, I'm not going to get the bombers out. I'll have them run naval, you know, search or do something like that. I just don't think it's very realistic to run those down to Darwin or something for the most part. You know, if, it, if it's just absurd that I've got them sitting somewhere, I will run them about. But, uh, in this case, uh, we've got these Hawk fighters again, um, you know, again, I mean, we can run these way up. Uh, I think, you know, running those at 20,000 feet makes a lot of sense. Uh, so let's run them at 20. We'll dial them back to four. Again, at Oosthaven, just worried about the, ca the cap over the top. Uh, we have these level bombers doing a straight up naval search. We've got their range at four. Now, I did dial this back just because I was afraid of his main task force. I guess we'll keep it that way. We've got this one on four as well. Same idea. Okay. Um, and then finally, we've got more 139 WH is 50. We've got their range set at five. We'll dial that back to four as well. They're all going to be then within uh, the fighter. So now you see the range of the bombers. Um, that's how far out the fighters are going to go as well. Uh, let's look at the infantry we actually have here, it's only 65. I mean, we really need to have more at Oosthaven, I feel like. We were trying to get more to Oosthaven, uh, and we're sending these transports to take things out of Batavia. Unfortunately, um, they... <laughs> They got waylaid out here. Now they're trying to get back to Batavia. Let's hope, you know, they, they make it, uh, but they're all out of fuel. I'm really kind of at a loss how to get fuel into them at this point. Um, this, the TK Augustina is empty. It's running back into Palembang. Uh, okay, I think that's okay for this turn anyway. We've got some destroyers out here doing anti-sub, which is good because we've got a sub right there. Uh, we've also got a minesweeper that's here that could maybe do a little anti-sub work on that. Um, out at Billiton, we've got an AVP, an AGP, an AG, an AKL. I think we need to move these guys out of here. So the poolster needs to go in here. There we go done and then let's send them out here uh i guess we'll send them out to the cocos and let's set that as, as its home port. can it get there yeah it can get there okay uh could we put them on full speed Eh, not really uh okay so it'll be a mission speed and we'll send those get them the heck out of here same with this akl the dahan as a matter of fact you know what i'm gonna do I am going to clear that back. Now then, eh, back. Hmm. Let's set its destination as Batavia, but I want it to meet up with this so it can give some of the fuel to that. Uh, eh, yeah, I don't think we can do... Oh, it's currently unloading. I see. Okay. Um, hmm. Got a lot of supply out here already. I, I just don't, I don't think it's necessary. Let's get, let's just get that out of there then. I wanted it to be able to give some of the fuel. We got a lot of PT boats here. Goodness. All right. I guess we can keep them out at Billiton for the time being. We also have that mind. We've got more destroyers doing their thing. But these transports were supposed to be coming into Batavia to pick up more things just to jump over to uh, Oosthaven. That's the one going into Palombang. Okay. Um, what all do we have sitting here at Oosthaven? We've got a lot of fuel at Oosthaven, a lot of supply too. Uh, there's no reason, I guess, these guys, uh, repair. Right, we want the Paul Jones to repair. Do, 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 do. Well, 
The best place to do that's actually at Surubaya, at least around here, the best place. Um, I'm going to take the Paul Jones out of here. Done. All right. I'm going to have this. Okay, it already is docked. Let's have it load supply, I guess. And we'll have that just go down to like Christmas Island or maybe out to the Cocos. How are they doing? They've got 4,100 in supply. This has got 2410. All right, we'll have them take some supply down to the Cocos. Uh, the Paul Jones then will have to form back up. Let's go into surface combat. We'll go get the Paul Jones. Done. Done. He says, there we go. It's got that system damage. Um, we need to bring it into a port where it can actually get repaired, which really is eventually going to be Sydney out here anyway. Why don't we have this go to... Maybe I'll have it go all the way around. Does that make sense? I, I, I don't know where else to take it. Oh, you know where we could take it, actually? Um, let's take it over to Colombo. Whoops. I mean, Colombo's a little closer than Sydney. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's, yeah, we'll have this go up to Colombo. I will set waypoints here because that seems a little too far, uh, too close to potential Japanese bombing anyway. We'll just set the waypoint out here so he goes here first and then up. All right, out you go. Um... Now then, we've got an AMC, we've got the TANS here, which is fully loaded. It's supposed to be going to Macassar. That seems like a really bad idea at this point. Why don't we actually have that go down to, let's say, Geraldton, which is hooked up into the system. Ooh, let's, um, can we replenish that? Oh, what? It's going to be 47 down to Geraldton. Okay, why don't we have its home port be Perth? Right, we'll do, I don't want to, let's do a minimal refuel uh, when it gets down there. So it's going to take, you know, 53, it's 47 one way to get to Geraldton, it's 47, it's 53 then to go on to Perth. So we'll just do a um, minimal refuel there. We've got these two CMs out here. Okay, another CM. Uh, do these guys have any mines on board? He's only got two. Do these guys have any mines? I think we talked about this before. Uh, not really, no. Um, these are Dutch. Eh, I'm gonna have them go to Colombo. I'll put all three in this one and just have them all go to... No reason to lose mine layers, uh, just, you know, for absolutely no purpose. Uh, and his main task force coming this way. They're just going to get blown. So they may as well go up to Colombo. And then what was the name of the other one? It's the Gudenlu. All right. We'll put you in here, my friend. Done. All right. And then we'll set a waypoint for them. Boy, the game is acting a little slow today. Uh, use waypoints. Let's go waypoint one. We'll just kind of go out here north of the Cocos and then up. And on to Colombo you go. Uh, this is actually a British mine layer, the Kung Wo. It does have some mines. All right. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we tell it to lay mines? And we'll go lay them down at Christmas Island. And then we'll also set its home port uh, at Colombo. All right. Just trying to get things out of here that make sense to get out. Uh, the Beatrice fuel Batavia, it says. It's now docked. Let's have it load fuel. Um, and this we can also take down to Geraldton. Drop. And we'll set their home port at Perth. All right. Uh, I actually should probably, so the Beatrice could go in with these others, I think. Or That's a 10. Yeah, the Beatrice can go in here with the Paz. guess I could have done that before I set everything else up. Uh, there's the Beatrice. Okay, these are all like 
ships. Let's have done that, and let's set a waypoint um, out north of the Cocos again, and then it can go down. Although, does that put us over for fuel? Oh, that's right. It's going to Christmas Island first. Ah, shoot. Okay. Um, let's set its home port. Well, that didn't make any sense. Let's set its home port or their home port at Perth. Can they get down there? Okay. Let's clear. Shoot. Sorry. Um, back. All right. So he's going to go out there and then his home port is Perth. Uh, they should be able to get down there. I could also make their home port. Mm, Eh, let's just have them do that. We'll go out to the Coco or to uh, I'm sorry, Christmas Island IO first. He's going that way. AMC. Ah, that's what's going to Geraldton. Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's set a waypoint for that. Um, I don't know, just like out here, and then it'll go down to Geraldton. That looks fine. I'm gonna try to get as much fuel out of here as you can. The Pro Patria, uh, no mines to speak of. I'm gonna let's see, put them in here. I guess may as well. Let's see their speed: 16, 15, 15. Ah, uh, yeah, no, the Pro Patria is much slower. Uh, let's actually send this up to I don't know, Sibiret. All right, uh, that looks good. Exit. I need, you know, really would like to get some more ground troops up there. Now, what do we have at Maroc? We just have this uh, local minesweeper and a base force. Okay, as we come down into Batavia, let's make sure we've got all of this set up the way we want. Uh, naval search. Okay, escort 50. Naval uh, search. Escort 50. He's on a 70 search, which means I've still got training on. Okay. Search, search, naval search. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I've got, so I've got some naval attacks and some naval searches. Okay, that's, that's just fine. Uh, we really don't have a lot of fighters here. B-339D operates best up to 15,000 feet. Uh, we may as well do that if it can operate up there at the same efficiency. So, I mean, we just don't have a lot here. 75A7 Hawk. That's that Hawk again. I really like this aircraft. Holy smokes. Um, let's have it operate up at 20 if it can. Uh, we can also, well, some of these guys are on naval search. We'll leave that out at five. I'd love to get more fighters here. What's our uh, Aviation Sport 97? Required 67. We could put 30 more planes in here. Uh, just something to think about at Oosthaven. Eh, okay, we'll just leave that as as is. Maybe we'll leave the or take these fighters down there. Uh, we'll see. Uh, this is Kaljati. Okay, not a whole lot to say here. Base Force, local minesweeper. Then we have uh, stuff up here at Banduang. Um, all right, we've got these Aussies flying Buffalo Ones. There are five of them. Not bad. Okay, I don't mind having it here. I mean, they cover Batavia, and they almost get down here and help in Surubaya. I mean, they're, they're close uh, to helping out there. Um... Okay, so I think I will leave those in Banduang. I was going to move them, but I think that's fine. Three, what are we running here? Naval attack, ASW patrol, okay. Uh, level bomber naval attack, I like all that. Uh, and then these buffaloes. These are actually buffaloes turned into recon aircraft. Uh, okay, sure. They're doing recon kind of here, there, and everywhere. Uh, maybe they can avoid the uh, Japanese machine moving this way. Combat, defend. We've got 50 here at Banduang. Seems about right. Uh, what did we have up at Batavia, as a matter of fact? Let's go check that out. Okay, we've got some things in strat move, like the 3rd Cavalry, because we want to take it out of here. Do we have anything to take it out of here with? No, we don't. We do have the Jansons here, which is a sub-tender. I hate to just sacrifice that up to the Japanese gods. Uh, we may have to move that out of here at some point. 
lots of Brits, lots of uh, stuff just in general here. Strat at target. Okay, let's get that to combat. Uh, we got 402 here at Batavia. Not bad. I want this cavalry regiment up at Oosthaven, though. Uh, that makes a lot of sense to me. All right. Um, so that's Batavia. Let's look at Tajilla Jap. Um, one of these days, I'm going to come back here and look at uh, some of the stuff on Borneo. I, I don't really know that it's that necessary. Before we do Tajilla Jap, I just want to see what we actually have here. Empty motorboat launches. We've got a local minesweeper and another mo local minesweeper. Uh, Merbabo. These are the exact same craft. Let's just put them together. Done. All right, uh, that's that. I mean, we don't have a whole lot at Bally Poppin that's going to stop anything, anything. Uh, the guns at Tarakan have not yet fired. Uh, I can't wait for that to happen. I hope it plays out like it usually does. We're still sitting up here on North Borneo, I guess, just waiting. I, I don't, I'm very shocked uh, that the AI has not yet invaded here, the northern part of Borneo. Hell, I mean, we could get some of these guys out here, at least try. What do we have here? Oh, they are they were the ones left behind. They are going to fly over. Uh, the, that was a damaged aircraft. Uh, we've got two patrol squadrons here and a fighter squadron of one. Let's transfer this over to Oosthaven. Sure. All right, 15,000 feet with the 339D. That looks good to me. We'll crank you back to a 650 on the cap. Uh, all good. All good. Uh, Tajilla Jap. That's where we were. We've got some forces in Tajilla Jap. We actually have the 224 Group RAF here. They're all defend at target, although that 224 really probably... Eh, it should probably be up at Batavia, if I'm being honest. Uh, but we don't have any Brit aircraft out here, so maybe it actually should be at Surubaya. Uh, uh... Hmm. Command radius 5 on that bad boy for the Dutch aircraft. Eh, I'm just going to leave that as is. 224 is kind of hiding out over here. Let's look at this. Combat, defend at target. Okay, well... You know, these guys are all set up to be at Tajilla Jap, except that 224 we will take out of here at some point. Uh, we've got level bombers here that are doing various things. We don't need these on 70, I'll tell you that much. Um, they'll be protected by the fighters either out of Surubaya, but most likely out of Batavia. Uh, okay, let's see then. Uh, we do have an AKL here. Cargo Exmouth. Huh. Interesting. Okay. What's the situation here? Supply, fuel, not great. Not great, right? Uh, let's actually, well, we'll just leave that the same. Um, Semarang. Okay. Joke Jakarta. We've moved most of this stuff to Surubaya and Batavia. Um, Sorry about that. Stepped away for a second. You probably wouldn't have noticed, but uh, I did pause for one second if there was a jump on your screen. Uh, let's go to Surubaya because one of my favorite places on the map. We've got fighters up here. The demon. Let's learn a little more about the demon. Wow. Uh, okay. Hmm. These Dutch aircraft have good maneuverability up you know, up to 15,000 feet, certainly. We've got him flying at 20. I'm okay with that. Uh, we've got 12 of these bad boys. We've got 10 B339Ds. Uh, they're always good up to 15 as, you know, uh, staying within their parameters. Let's dial him back to a 5. Let's dial him back to a 6. This is more 339Ds. Got a decent number of fighters here. Not great, but not terrible. We've got naval attack and rest. Uh, we're sending these Brit torpedo bombers in and going to try to get some bingo. Uh, we've also got uh, one group of Australians here of 12 Vildebeests, uh, also torpedo bombers. And so, I mean, we're just going to try to get in here. Uh, what, you know, what else can we do? Let's look at their ranges. Okay, these do go out to an 8, but I've got them set at a 6. All right, set at a four, 
and set at a 5. Let's dial U back to a 4. Let's dial U... Let's keep them in close. A 4. That way we make sure, even on normal range... Now, that went out to a 6. This goes out to a 6. Uh, we'll keep that on normal range. 5. This, though, only goes out to a 4. And that's the main number of our craft. So, uh, I think that's a good setup. Not not great. It's not terrible. Uh, I'd like to have a lot more fighters, but that's how just how we're going to have to play it. Uh, oh, we got some subs in here getting fueled up. That's fine. Patrol Gulf of Siam. Sure. Uh, Patrol North Luzon. Now, he came in here. He's just only got a little bit of damage. Um, you know, two. I mean, it's not even major damage. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's re replenish, damn it. Um... I wonder if, I guess if we would have to dock him. Anyway, whatever. He's going to refuel anyway. Mission speed, human control. Okay, that all looks good. And then we ha do have the Lepus in here. Um, let's load that up with something. Fuel, supply. Actually, let's not. Let's undock it. And let's have it head straight down to, oh shoot, I don't know, Dobby. Let's have it head down to there. Uh, that looks like a mission to die. Let's set a waypoint and do this a little differently. Have him come up this way first and then down. Does that make sense? Yeah, there he goes. Okay, because the main task force, we see two parts of it here and here. There probably is a third part of it here. I just don't want him sailing right through there. That didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, what aircraft do we have here? Just patrol. We have two base forces here. Probably not necessary. Local mine sweep. Um, level bombers that we should transfer out of here. Let's transfer. It's only one, but. Coopan, Ustaven, Dilly. Let's just have them go down to Dilly. We'll try to skip them out of Dilly. Uh, all right, off you go. Now down here, we've got another local... Mine. Man, I may lose this game just getting local minesweepers blown up uh, because I'm just going to kind of leave them here. At Bima, we've got, you know, patrol craft. Okay, uh, we could get them out of here. Maybe we will. Uh, they're flying over the top of these. I, I, you know, they don't often get blown out just because they're... they're just flying these patrol missions, they can kind of avoid the, you know, the Japanese main force isn't going to generally send aircraft out to blow them out of the sky. It doesn't they, they don't really care, to be honest. Uh, transport group. He's got 24. I don't want this to get destroyed. Uh, looks like he can't get off of uh, Dutch Island, though. Okay. All right, well, that is what it is. We've got level bombers sitting here. We've got Aussie level bombers. We could always transfer these down to Darwin. Yeah, we got support down at Darwin. All right, so let's get them down to Darwin. Get the Australians down there. Uh, now, he's not ready to go yet. Uh, he will follow along uh, into Darwin. Then we have... Dilly itself. These are those level bomb or the one level bomber I just put down there. Uh, I think that's it. I think we're going to resolve. Go ahead and resolve the turn. I did want to look at Kendari very quickly just to see what I had here. Uh, yeah, let's get this out of here. Um, I could skip through Dilly. Uh, I could take him to Koa Peng, I believe. Couldn't I? Yeah, man, they're way oversubscribed, but let's do that uh, for now. Let's just get them out of here. No reason. Uh, Dutch Patrol, we'll let that continue to run. We do have, oh, these two ships need to get the hell out of here. Let's actually have them come up. Or, you know what? Let's send them right over here to Sarong. We'll have them go at full speed. Cruise speed, full speed. There we go. Uh, and we'll just have them base it Sarong, at least for now. Um, they don't quite get there, but I'm going to try to... Eh. Okay, we'll put them on mission speed. Just try to get them out of here. They probably will get blown trying to get over there. What do I have? Uh, 26 AV on the Kandari garrison. Eh, okay, 
uh, Macassar. We do have this infantry that's sitting here. Hmm. Okay. Something. That's a 39. I mean, that's not terrible for out here. You can see we've got all of these subs uh, that are trying to get in here and just get a shot away. Get that one shot. We have a patrol craft. Okay, that looks fine. Looks like, oh, here's the third part. Ship sighted are three. I wonder if these are transports. We don't have a whole lot at Ternate. Um, see all of the American subs out here. Unfortunately, they're not very good, of course. All right, I think we're going to call it as far as setting things up this time. Uh, let's go ahead and save this turn. All right, and let's roll the turn. Let's get up to January 2nd. Can't wait. All right, we'll do this in the orders phase, and off we go. Very curious to see what he's going to end up doing with this main task force. He seems to have split it up into a few parts, which uh, is certainly a valid strategy. Uh, keeping them all together uh, is great because, of course, they can boss anything. But ultimately, even split into three parts, they can boss pretty much whatever the Americans can field out here. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, unless you're moving carriers out over here, you know, any light carrier that they have is more powerful than damn near every allied ship uh, that's anywhere near uh, this area. So we shall see. So I'm hopeful to uh, be getting a play by email going here soon. Um, you know, for those of you that are big, big fans of War in the Pacific, as I am, uh, that's the only way to really play. I mean, this is great for teaching the game or for people that aren't familiar with the game. Um, but eventually, you know, you just get to a point where you can beat the AI uh, because you understand the game but i mean there's no substitute obviously in any game for playing a human i will say the ai in this game uh the the scripts that andy mack wrote that gave you gave, gives the ai like 16 different ways it can go uh made it far more challenging definitely download those if you have the chance um and play that way because it just makes for a much much better ai game that being said once you're experienced you should be able to beat the ai uh by you know 44 or so which is still a lot of gameplay uh but playing another human man is that fun because hey <laughs> it you know it throws that unpredictability in you you have really have no idea where they're going to go the japanese have so many choices early in the game of where they could advance because they just have so such overwhelming power uh, over the allies out out here in the Pacific at the start uh, that it just makes for a really uh, hell of a game good time so I'm uh, hopefully going to be getting that going here pretty soon we will continue to play this game the AI game uh, and we'll see I mean you know I'm talking a big game uh, hell for all I know it's gonna whip my butt we'll see All right, uh, we've got some night surface combat. We haven't seen a whole lot of this. Uh, the battleship, the Hai, uh, light cruiser Tatsuta, and two destroyers just took on our local little minesweep. Poor guy, uh, he is sunk. And you can now see the major task force here. Uh, ASW attack near Dungala. So uh, this is a Dutch sub. All right, uh, the Dutch subs have been very good for us in this game, and they generally are. Uh, the Dutch subs are pretty quality at the start of the game. It was sighted by this destroyer, nothing really happened. 
All right, so we, we got a lot more eyes on that main Japanese task force uh, this time around. Looks like they're going to be night bombing here. 20 Bettys in, one got damaged. They're hitting the airbase at Changsha. Uh, not a bad idea for them. That's the one place we've put uh, Chinese fighters, the, really the only Chinese fighters that are, you know, I mean, the Chinese fighters aren't great, although they've really held their own here. And as you can see, in he comes on Singapore. So it has begun. He brought in seven lilies unescorted. Five were damaged, one destroyed by flak. No surprise there. We have got a lot of anti-aircraft in this area. Uh, and so it, I say in this area, in Singapore, and I also think in uh, Johar Baru. And so that's going to be, I mean, we're just ripping him apart as he comes in here. Five more lilies, four damaged. Uh, now, those were night raids, so some of that was operational, but uh, we're going to have a lot of flak, a lot of anti-air uh, heading up into the sky. So, you know, he's going to have a tough time with Singapore uh, and bringing in any kind of bombing missions there. We also, as we saw, have, you know, a decent number of fighters there. Not, a, not enough to stop him from bombing, certainly, but a decent number. All right, it's daytime. All right, uh, Japanese ship. So we've got a Japanese sub over here. It launched two torpedo <laughs> words. It launched two torpedoes at the AP Crescent City. Luckily, did not get a hit there. Uh, another Japanese sub. This one right off of Brisbane. Uh, it got into the AK Autolycus. One torpedo hit. Heavy damage. The Autolycus has now sunk. Uh, wow. Okay, the AP Manaroa. Uh, now this is not good. I mean, I'm not, I can't remember. Oh, I think we were sending these APs up north. These are the ones we were going to have take stuff out of Seattle over to Dutch Harbor. Torpedo hits three, heavy damage on fire. Oh, we've got it. And now that's sunk. Yep, this is, this is that group we were sending up to Seattle. And uh, we see the sub activity out here. ASW attack, so he's spotted us, not the other way around. Uh, this is also, oh, these are those American, I think these are, uh, well, I'm not going to speculate. Uh, they're S-37, they are the S-37, so this is a different class from, you know, our named subs, uh, such as the Skipjack. Uh, so they're doing a lot of ASW up here and finding us, unfortunately. We need to start finding some of their damn subs, because... They're, uh, they're getting into us a little bit, for sure. All right, now we've got all of our sightings happening out here. Seeing stuff over Porta Princesa, not surprising. Over Ambon, that's not surprising. Uh, torpedo bombers, things just off of North Luzon. Uh, now we're starting to see things over Nomaya. That would make this game kick up an extra notch. That's that damn Japanese sub I've been trying to get rid of forever off of Java. Now here come the airstrikes, or at least they're threatened. We'll see. We're still doing more sightings. This game's so amazing. I love all of this. Japanese torpedo bombers. Now they're sighted over Singapore. It's only a matter of time before we get that red line into Singapore of an actual bombing mission. Huh. They didn't bomb much there. Hopefully they'll leave Rangoon along, alone for a couple of turns. We need some of those Flying Tigers to repair.
gosh darn, this whole thing is sightings. Not getting uh, much actual action. A Ryan class CVL was spotted. Uh, that's a light carrier. And that ain't ours. <laughs> I wish. Uh, what do we got going on here? Um, afternoon air attack on Ken Consen. Okay, 15 zeros, three vowels coming in. They hit the runway. All right, we don't have anything stationed there. Um, now they're coming in on Manila Bay. Zeros and Kates. Uh, we did damage three zeros. Excellent. It was a ground attack. This is a Filipino. They're trying to bomb the Filipino Infantry Division, the 51st. Okay. Uh, at Batangas. You know, get out of Batangas. The AI loves that. Uh, Lily's 9, one of them was damaged here. Wow. 54 Sally's coming in on Batangas. Have at it. I think that last Catalina that we had there. Wow, he's really bring, bringing big, big groups of aircraft in. 24 zeros, 20 lilies in on Wen Chow. Now they're over at Madon again. No, this is Lang Sa. I said Madon. It's right south of there. This is Lang Sa. Uh, 15 Ans, 21 Oscars. They did hit the runways. That's fine. We don't have anything there. At least not on the runways. We've got a base force there, but not nothing, no aircraft. Okay, we've got six Nates, eight Tojos, six Sonyas, and a Kukong. A lot of sightings. All right, this is coming in on the 63rd Chinese Corps. Uh, four 50 kilogram bombs dropped on them, which to no real effect, it appears. Then we've got six Sonyas in on the Chinese base force at Kukong. Wait a minute. A Ryuzhou class CVL is reported hit. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. We'll have to check that out. Now, when I saw that before, I saw it pop up that it had been sighted, but it's being reported as hit. Did we hit it with a sub? I don't know. Okay, now we're transporting things around. Wow, he did not do much bombing this time. You see all of our transports now uh, taking troops or supplies or both uh, to their destinations. Um, we got ship, ship's crew doing damage control. Well, hopefully they're doing some damage control on a CVL because we hit it. Uh, ASW near, okay, this is just off of Pearl Harbor, off Molokai, um, Japanese ship, that's the sub, I-169, we have the Dunlop and the Fanning out here, uh, that have spotted it, oh, the fan, they're out of ammo, come on, Fanning, we'll go get some ammo, uh, the Japanese ship, Yoshio Maru, oh, okay, uh, we're out here, what is this, the Marshall Islands? Uh, it's near Abaddon. Um, damn, we got two torpedoes off on it, but nothing happened. Well, something happened, but we got no damage. Let's put it that way. The Dunlap, now an ASW attack here, uh, fails to find the sub. So our other destroyers found the sub. The Fanning did not have any depth charges left. Uh, and then the, the ship that did have depth charges uh, couldn't find him. It's a bad combination. All right, land move attack phase. Let's get everybody back behind the river there. When I say here, behind the river right there. We also have this marching up to Xinyang. Uh, okay. This may be a turn without a lot of combat. 
Uh, we're moving some things around, getting things in place. And I'm sure they're going to battle down at Wen Chow here, but we're getting everything else out. You see it moving down the road. Wow, they're moving a long ways this time. Ooh, we're finally going to get into Akyam and Cox's Bazaar. Those guys, those guys are marching. Finally going to get those covered. Got something coming to Lido. Or, uh, I thought it was going to go to Lido. I guess we brought it down here maybe to Infall. All right, I'm going to hit escape here and kind of move these a little faster as we get through Australia. Okay, here's the battle. Uh, yep. Oh, that happened very quickly. They just took Wen Chow just like that. Um, ground combat at Wen Chow. It was Japanese shock attack with 22,000 troops. We only had 10,000 troops. I thought we had a little bit more than that. But as you can see, just overwhelming force for the Japanese there. Uh, they took our fort level you know, down immediately. They captured Wen Chow. We lost 3,000 troops. They lost you know, 900. Uh, we lost a lot of guns. You know, we had 135 squads destroyed, and we are now retreating out of Winchow. I probably should have done that anyway. I was hoping to hold it a few turns, uh, but uh, no can do. All right, we're retreating back to Yunnan. Uh, he's got a big, strong force here. Um, as a matter of fact, 56,000 troops, shock attack. We only had 15,000, as you can see, the odds uh, not in our favor. Uh, Japanese 471. We took 8,000 in casualties. Oh, oh. Uh, bombardment attack near Kwasai. Okay, here comes the attack in on Clark Field. He's bringing 8,800 troops. He's going to need a hell of a lot more than that. We've got 17,000 troops all dug in. Um, this was a deliberate attack. Oh, gosh, he only took 40 casualties, really, uh, with those kind of odds. I would have hoped for more, certainly. All right, we got, yeah, uh, we're, retreat, we're retreating out of Kuala Lumpur. Uh, we finally just said, nope, we can't do it. Uh, we got to get these guys out as well. Now, they're, they haven't really run into much resistance. They're somewhat... I say somewhat, they're kind of surrounded, although I'm sure we could get supply up and around this way. Let's see what we got going on here. Kuala Lumpur, Japanese shock attack. Uh, he got the odds on us, and they have now captured Kuala Lumpur. 358 casualties for him, almost 6,000 for us. Uh, not good. Uh, they attacked Timula. Uh, we actually held at Timula. Okay, uh, great. He took 34 casualties. We took 39. Wow, we've taken taken some real big ground casualties. Uh, the one in China is kind of unavoidable. I feel like the one in Malaya, uh, we should have started dropping back sooner there. I normally would do that. Uh, in this game, I just didn't, and I, it's cost us a few men, it seems. Uh, not the biggest deal. I mean, they're eventually going to take Singapore, right? We're just trying to slow them down. But still, so those men probably would have surrendered at some point. Uh, but uh, be that as it may, I, I would rather, I guess, have dropped them back and kind of done a, a fighting retreat. Oh, we're refitting a bunch of our battleships. Yep, beginning refit. Oh, excellent. So they're going to be improved uh, when they come out of that refit. That's the end of the day. Uh, some interesting action. I want to go back and look at that combat log and see if we got a hit in on a CVL uh, that I just didn't really see. I, I, I don't know. We're reporting that it was hit. It could just be a bad report. Uh, that's certainly possible. All right, we got some things arriving. Um, uh, 
And there goes the save. It will be January 2nd as we come back next time. All right, there we go. Now let's go up here. Um, oh boy, it's always so hard. <laughs> There's so much that happens every turn. I want to see, I'm looking for CVL. Um, hmm. I may have to go look for this on my own. I don't want to have to sit there while I search for this. Second reports. I mean, I guess it's possible we could get something on here, but probably not. Um, what's the weather look like? Oh, rain, thunderstorms. Okay, good to know. Rain up here in China. Uh, when we come back next, I'm going to go look for this offline. Um, uh, when we come back next time, it's going to be in the combat report. I guess i mean i guess well it's probably operational report actually anyway when we come back next time we will talk about the cvl that potentially got hit uh we'll figure out why we lost so many ground units this time uh i think i know it's called user error well not necessarily in china there's not always a whole lot you can do about that um but i think in malaya we should have pulled back a little sooner uh but we'll be all right we'll be all right all right uh, thank you so much for joining me. As always, it's been my pleasure. I'll talk to you next time. Strategy Gaming Dojo, out. Have a good one.